All right, I'm back, baby. And for those of you who don't know me, my name is Matt Walker. I'm the producer on DMC5 SE. We here at Capcom are super excited about the possibilities that the power next gen enables for us. So excited, in fact, that we wanted to take just a couple minutes to show off one of those new features, Ray Trace. First up, let's take a look at how reflections are gonna take advantage of this new capability. Thanks to ray tracing, we're gonna be able to now calculate what should be seen when looking at any reflective surface. And as you can see here, it's gonna be done dynamically, just as we can see with Nero and the balloons. For those of you who are unaware, ray tracing refers to the ability for the hardware to easily calculate where different objects are in relation to each other in a 3D space by tracing rays created between them. In terms of DMC5 SE's graphical upgrades over the original DMC5, this is gonna enable us specifically to create more realistic reflections, as we see here, and lighting. Up until now, we had to find ways to simulate reflections in order to achieve a specific intended artistic effect. But now, we have more power. And that power allows us to break past the limitations that we had in these previous implementations. Next up, lighting. As with the reflections, ray tracing is also gonna help us trace light rays as well. And this is gonna help us create more dynamic looking environments. One example that I really love is right here in this room. Notice the way that the curtains move. And as the curtains move, it affects the light shining through the window. As you can see here, this can't be done when the ray tracing is turned off. Ray tracing also enables us to calculate light as it bounces between objects, which means lighting can now look even more realistic. And as you can see here, this is going to be most pronounced as you look at the environments of DMC5 SE. The power of next gen is going to give players the choice to experience ray trace graphics at 4K, 30 frames per second, 1080p, 60 frames per second, or turn off the ray tracing and experience the game at frame rates up to 120 frames per second. Once again, ray tracing is only one of the upgrades that Next Gen is going to enable for us. In addition to the high frame rates that I just talked about, loading times will be greatly reduced. Audio will be even more immersive thanks to new upgraded spatial 3D audio tech. And of course, the extra horsepower and memory is going to give us the opportunity to add new content like Legendary Dark Knight mode. We look forward to all of you experiencing these upgrades for yourselves when Devil May Cry 5 SE releases day one on Next Gen.